Nighttime in Donetsk. A rush to shelter. Dressed to combat the cold, residents from Donetsk Petrovsky district flee to this local bomb shelter. As fighting rages around them, they're hoping the damp basement that will be their home for the night will save their lives. We hear the bombs being launched, whistling past and then dropping somewhere. The last one came down very close to us. As we were running, it just fell on our street. Beds made of wooden planks and thin mattresses line the main sleeping area as a couple wraps up under blankets. There's time in the night to think. Restless days, basements, shelters and candles, bombs and rockets, how much more can we take? The rebels accuse Ukrainian forces of conducting a brutal bombing campaign against Donetsk. The government denies using artillery against residential neighborhoods. The people hiding underground say the accusations matter little. As the morning draws near, they start the reverse trek, slowly leaving the shelter. In the sunlight, damaged roads and buildings visible. Sergei Olnik was hit by shrapnel Saturday night. Despite several injuries, he considers himself lucky. Some of his neighbors died that night. Sounds like there is more shelling outside, and my neighbor from the second floor, his wife left in a black scarf. The man was killed by shrapnel. Her husband's death, leaving Daria Sharapova bereft. A shrapnel punctured the heart of my husband. I don't know what to do. I just don't know how to live now. For the people of Donetsk, the question of who was responsible is less important than their misery. Tracy Brown, Associated Press.